What's happening? What's happening? What's happening? What's happening? What's happening? What's happening? It's the one only real, right? AKA chosen, not taken. Choose your life and just don't take what it gives you. You know that favor that I'm about to ask you. Please like, comment, subscribe, show your boy some love. We at 1800 now. We're trying to get to 2000 so we can get to 10,000, so we get to 100,000, so we get to 1 million. But the point of today is to point out what I know a lot of my God-fearing Christians are going to do. Let's get into it. We all know at this time of the year, people are getting themselves together for the new year, closing out 2022 and going into 2023 and what they're going to do. They're going to go to church and they're going to have some people that are out here that are going to pray on the week. Who are those people? Those are those quote unquote prophets that are going to come and tell people all these great elaborate things about what's coming in 2023 and all these great things that are going to make put them on an emotional roller coaster but are not going to manifest. And I'm going to tell you why they're not going to manifest because the reality of it is, is that it didn't have to wait to 2023. It could have happened in 2022, but the reality of it is that it falls on you. It falls on you. It falls on you. Don't be dependent on somebody else to tell you what God has already told you. He said the earth is the, the, earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof. So it's nothing on this earth that you cannot have. Let me let you save that thousand or that that hundred dollars or that fifty that you're gonna be charged by these people that's really and truly not not trying to speak to your heart, but they trying to speak to their own pocketbooks. No one thing God has already told you is that you have not because you ask not. You have to spend time with God. The Bible tells you this to seek God first. Stop seeking these man-made idols and thinking that their words are stronger than your words. No, it's not. We have all been given an opportunity through Jesus Christ to get to God. So why don't you take advantage of that and, and let the spirit of you speak? Yes, the spirit of you, let it speak. Let it manifest the things that God wants to give you. Y'all know this a little outside the norm, but I, I just felt... I felt like I was obligated to talk to some people today, so therefore they won't be bamboozled. Because it's people, believe it or not, there are not always great people that are behind a pulpit. There are not always great people that try to represent the body of Christ. It's some people right now that are ready to line their pockets up and tell you that if you sow a seed into them, that you'll be blessed. That is not the truth. And I'm gonna tell you why that's not the truth. It's because anybody that's really coming from God, they're not gonna put a price tag on it. Because they already know if they believe in God, they know they'll be taken care of. Let's stay away from that. And for 2023, start off 2023 on your knees praying to God, giving it to God, and make 2023 the best year of your life because you started off with God and let it end off with God. I just had to drop this video because it was just something in me to help somebody out. Listen, no one thing that is in you and it's not on you. Got three things before I go. God loves you. I love you. And we keep loving each other. The world's going to be a better place. One love. Take a load off on my private island.